the next question is also about our local or at least regional context. Mm -hmm. uh, in Latin America, uh, over the past decade, there has been a heated discussion about the need of restoring the memory of what happened here during dictatorship periods, uh, in which some countries suffered from heavy censorship from some people that were subjected uh, to serial human rights violations, such as unlawful and organized torture and ex executed execution practices. So many victims and their families seek rec recognitions of these facts. However, in the eyes of some legal scholars, and I s quote one, uh, the professor Eduardo Bertoni mm -hmm. from Buenos Aires. Um, so these legal scholars, those they they may see that those demands are in conflict with the amnesty uh, given both to the state violators um, and to the underground political organization outlawed at that time. Those these orders uh, say that the European uh, decision is export exported to the rest of the world would run against this movement of recognition and uh, of building a right to memory or right to truth of what happened before. Uh, and this is an apparent, apparent tension with the public interest in accessing information, freedom of expression and transparency in the face of the right to oblivion or something like that. So what about the right to memory? Uh, how it can be uh, reconciled with the right to be forgotten, for example? Right, yeah. Well, so I think this is really important because I, I've... I think that this framing of forgetting sets us up then to say, what about the right to memory? And I think that we, you know, memory is the foundation of humanity. We absolutely need to remember. Um, I think, though, that that's probably – we if, if we're talking particularly in this search engine context and so on, I would separate memory from what's on Google, for example. Um, I – I'm I'm very aware of the different um, different historical um, environments in which this dis this debate is being discussed. I think it's really important that um, in Brazil in Argentina that the discussion is owned locally and it's considering um, the particular the the robustness of the legal machinery, the robustness of the tools, and particularly here the 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 core. Um, uh, lever that we have in the right to be forgotten is the public interest defence. So people who have been granted amnesty, there is a continued interest, public interest in those stories being told, invest, you know, the understanding. It's that there, there's a particular legal restriction on what can happen to those individuals. Doesn't stop you investigating, doesn't stop, you know, a continued um, rigorous journalism and so on. So I think that that is not at all in uh, a conflict with rights, data protection rights, and particularly rights of delisting and so on. I, I don't see personally that conflict. I understand that depending on the strength of the legal machinery and the people who are implementing it, it could be misused. And I think that's why we need really strong safeguards. We need transparency about how the right's being applied, to what cases, and then you can, you can safeguard against some of these potential abuses.